Welcome to the Nature Journal Connection. I'm your host, John Muir Laws. Today, we're going to learn how to play with birdsong in our nature journals. How to hear the bird songs in ways that allow us to tell the individual birds apart. Yeah, each different species of bird sings a completely unique song. And you can identify those birds, not just by sight, but by ear. The secret is you have to know how to listen and then how to transcribe the sounds that you hear onto the pages of your journal. Let's take a look at some strategies that you can use to transcribe the sounds that you hear onto a piece of paper. The first step is to listen with intensity. Now, it turns out that when our eyes are open, a big portion of the, the energy that our brain uses goes into processing all the visual information that we're taking in. But if you close your eyes, your brain can devote more energy, more resources to concentrating on the sounds that are coming in through your ears. So the first step, you're going to close your eyes, let that sound soak into you, and then to respond to it. What I do is as I hear the sound of the bird coming in, I'm going to raise a hand and almost as if I were a conductor of an orchestra, I'm going to conduct the sound of that bird song in the air. So if it's a sound that starts low, my hand will be low. If it goes up to a high note, my hand goes higher. For little trills and buzzes, I'll wiggle my fingers for clear notes. I'll wipe my palm. And so as the bird goes do 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 weep, I'll go do 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 weep, dilililip, whoop. Right? So and as I listen to it several times, I'll find that my hand is sculpting the same shape in the air again and again and again. So you listen to it several times. You compose it in the air. You can feel that sound in your fingertips. And now what you're going to do is take that line that you drew in the air and put it down on a piece of paper. So let's say our song started with a few clear notes, a few clear whistles. This bird went dee, dee, dee all the same pitch, but then it slurs up to a high trill. It goes And then one last clear whistle that kind of swoops up. That would be a way of drawing that sound that I just heard. If parts of it are louder or softer, I can actually show that by the thickness of my line. Like, let's say this, um, this last whistle was a really bold, punched-in whistle. I'm going to make that a thicker line. I can also take this picture and write the words to the bird's song. So as the bird is singing, I'll say to myself, if I were to make up nonsense syllables to what this bird is saying, is it... T T T sup G G G Veep T T T sup G G Veep Then I'll write in T T T sup little exclamation point there T T T sup G Then I forget what I was saying for that last one Sweet T, 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 sup, G, sweet. You are going to make up your own words. It, actually, if you look at the way that five different people will describe the same birds, they'll all use totally different syllables. 
So don't worry about like, there's like, is that a T or a J, right? Like just what, the way it sounds right to you, you're going to put those in. So you're going to write the words to the bird song following what in your head are the nonsense syllables that go best with the song that you're singing. That's also going to help you kind of make this song stick in your head for a while. Oh, it's the TTT sup bird, TTT sup. You'll be walking along, you'll hear that sound and you'll go, ooh, TTT sup. Right? because you have your own little nonsense words that go along with it. Um, the also, another thing you can do to, to, to enhance this description is let's, let's describe the quality of this note, the, the notes of the song. So would you describe this song as being musical, as being mechanical, as being staccato you know how would how would you describe that sound is it is it melodic is it flute light like is it um is it grinding is it harsh so i'm going to say this is um this is musical and whistly So I've got some description of it. Is it fast or slow? So it's a right? Or is it kind of taking its time? I can put time into this. Um, it's a slow song. All of these descriptors help me be able to get that sound out of the air and onto the piece of paper. The final thing that I'm going to do about this song, I'm assuming here that we're talking about a bird, can't even see the bird. It's somewhere off in those trees. But let's, let's add a little bit more of the information about where you're finding this bird. So this bird, I'm finding it in dense forest, dense oak forest. It's in dense oak forest, um, with no undergrowth. And it's being sung from the treetop. Some birds, they like to sing down low on the tops of bushes, others in the treetops, others hidden in the canopy. So is it an exposed perch? If you can see the bird, um, is it hidden? So this is hidden. Hi in oak. So there's a lot of information that I can then get about this sound. If I do this, the next time I hear a bird doing the TTT sub song, I'll be walking along like, oh, it'll really pop out to me. I'll be able to spot, I've, I've seen this, I've, I've heard this bird. I've heard this bird before. And you're going to get acoustic familiarity with all your local birds. Then what happens is at some point you'll be hiking along and you'll see a bird and it's singing the TTT sup song. You're like, oh, you're the bird that is, the, the TTT sup is the fill in the blank. So you don't initially need to be able to identify any of these birds. Just describe their sounds, put those sounds down on a piece of paper. If at some point in the future you're able to connect up how a bird looks with that sound, that's great. I still have a number of bird songs in my head that for me are just the ones that I've only heard. Right? I haven't seen the bird singing yet, but I'm, as I'm hiking around, I'm looking for those. So when I hear one of those sounds, I'm like, oh, oh, oh I want to see this one. Also, when you see the birds, you don't even have to be able to identify what species it is. Just in your journal, describe it as best you can. Remember, we've got words, pictures, numbers. We're gonna describe that bird as best we can. At some point, you're going to be able to associate that bird with, with a name. But remember, the name is not the thing. There's so much more wonderful stuff that you can observe and discover through your own direct observations. You don't have to be able to name everything that you see. But in time, with practice, you're going to be able to do that. It'll just part of the territory. It comes with spending a lot of the time 
a lot of your time outside exploring around, you're going to be able to identify, you'll be walking down the trail and you'll be like, oh, there's this, there's this, there's this. It's like knowing, knowing the voices of your friends. What I'd like you to do is to listen where you explore and choose three of the most common bird songs and describe those, document them down on your piece of paper. And if it's possible to link any of those up with how the bird looks, that's great. If not, that's okay. But at this time of year, in the place that you explore, these are the three most common bird sounds. And get yourself to the point so as you hike around, ah, there it is again, there it is again, there it is again. Be able to pick it out from all the other sounds that you hear. In time, you can add even more birds to your repertoire. And as you start to associate those birds with birds that you can actually see singing, be able to de physically describe, you're going to know the bird life in your area on a completely different level. It's so much fun to get to know the place where you adventure and explore, not just with your eyes, but with your ears as well. So your nature journaling challenge this week is to take the bird sounds you hear and translate them to your piece of paper. You're going to find that very quickly you can start to distinguish the different birds in the area where you live and explore by your ear alone. Each one has its own unique sound and it's going to open up this whole new wonderful world of observation and discovery. Until next time, this is your Nature Journal Connection. Do, do, do.